What a moment for the rookie from Maryland, Kevin Herter. Early in the year, a good friend of mine told me um, about him when he was younger, and he used to wear my they wear my shoes. Uh, he wore number three because of me. He, he looked up to me. So I knew I was going to surprise him at the, the last time we played him, but I really like his game. He's somewhere since preseason when we played him. All the way to now, he's gotten so much better. So from one number three to another, I thought I would uh, switch jerseys with him. Memorable moment last night in the NBA down in Miami. Dwayne Wade, of course, going through the jersey exchange in this uh, final season for him. And Kevin Herter got one of them last night. He joins us now from Atlanta. And Kevin, the, the list this year includes like LeBron, Dirk, Curry, you. W when he taps you on the shoulder and you realize what's happening, what goes through your mind? That was surreal. You know, there's really no other way to say it. Uh, that was the first thing that went through my mind is I turn around and kind of realized that he wanted to exchange jerseys and I don't know what to say. Thank God he was talking to me. But growing up, it was when we watched the NBA, Dwayne Wade was definitely one of the first guys that both me and my brother watched and looked up to. And I just remember the first time we played them in the preseason, he checked into the game and all of a sudden I was guarding him and that was crazy. And then <laughs> that was the fourth time we'd played him so far this year. So at that point, it became a little bit more normalized and you're obviously trying to win the game. But that was obviously a really cool moment. When you get back to the locker room and you got the D Wade jersey, what's the, what did the rest of the fellas say to you? Everybody was, <laughs> it was a funny moment in the locker room. Everybody was just trying to ask me the same thing. You know, what's the story behind it? Was he really right old growing up? That type of thing. And, right. Uh, you know, Vince Carter was definitely, <laughs> you know, picking on me a little bit with that. And so it was, it was a funny moment in the locker room. Now, you mentioned in preseason, like you get a switch and there you are and you're guarding the guy. What moments is, that you've had stand out as like an, oh, my God, I can't believe that this is happening right now. I'm checking this guy or whatever. Is there a moment like that that stands out? I mean, one of them is falling for Dwayne's pump fakes a couple times this year. I think it was, again, probably the preseason game. He had posted me up. He's looking at me, this you know, skinny rookie, and he <laughs> takes you right into the post and has a pump fakes that I've seen a million times. I go for it, and he goes right to the line just like he always does. And I remember we were playing a game against Golden State earlier in the year, guarding Kevin Durant and you know, him pulling up and making a simple 15-footer. He's backpedaling, saying, welcome to the league, Rook. <laughs> and uh, just moments like that that you'll always remember. But you always, you're a competitor. You want to play against these guys. All right, final thing. This is critically important. In College Park, they called you Red Mamba. I don't know if you had anything to do with that or it was just social media. Then people in Atlanta trying to call you Red Velvet. Like, I just want to know what the hell I'm supposed to call you. I've always just called you Kevin Herter. So is there something I'm supposed to be calling you? I'm waiting on something to stick. You know, Red Mamba was a, someone, a PR guy in Maryland came up with, and that just kind of took off on social media. And then here I'm just waiting for something to stick. People try to ask me what type of nickname I'm. I want, and I'm just like, hey, that's for you guys to come up with, and y'all you know, endorse whatever sticks. Right on. That's a fair point. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can come up with here. I, I, we got to, you know, we got to show at night. I'll, if I come up with something and you like it, you let me say, know. If, if you got ideas, man. All right. Well, I got. Awesome. Look, I got. I, I got. You got ideas. You, it's all you. All right. I got time to fill every night. I'll, I'll work on something, and if uh, if it's awful, please let me know. And if you like it, you let me know. And in the meantime, keep doing your thing. You know how much everybody from College Park's got your back, and we're proud of uh, all you've already done, and we'll continue to do. Kevin, stay well, and uh, we'll talk soon, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on.